Hello, welcome to the strength of materials. So in this video about compound stresses and complex stresses. This video is going to give us the derivation of maximum and min minimum principal shear stress. There we have seen about the normal tangential and the particular principal plane and principal stress. Now the minimum and maximum principal shear stress. In any complex system of loading, the maximum and the minimum normal stresses are the principal stresses and the shear stress is zero in their planes. To find the maximum value of shear stress and its plane in such a system, consider the equation for shear stress in a plane that is tau t is equals to half sigma x minus sigma y into bracket and into sin 2 theta plus tau cos 2 theta as this is the equation of the particular principal stress which we have seen. So instead of sigma we are taking now as a tau theta so equation remains as it is. To find the maximum and minimum values of tau t the necessary condition is differentiation of the equation with respect to d theta that is tau uh, d tau theta divided by d theta is equal to 0. So differentiating equation number 1 with respect to theta we are going to get d theta by d tau theta by d theta is equal to half sigma x minus sigma y cos 2 theta sin 2 theta derivation <coughs> differentiation is cos 2 theta multiplied by 2 plus tau minus of sin 2 theta into 2 equal to 0. So here we are able to see that after the differentiation value then this value. So where we can see that particular part is so we are able to get that the thing is the 2 value and this two value gets cancelled because of the multiplication sign between them and this tau gets multiplied with the minus of sine 2 theta and it becomes minus tau sine 2 theta multiplied by 2 or 2 tau sine 2 theta in this way. So we can see this part is now totally a positive part and this part is now totally a negative part. So when we take this on the left hand side equating it to 0, if we take it on the right hand side or we can take this on the right hand side, this particular term. So we get the equation into bracket sigma x minus sigma y cos 2 theta equals to 2 times tau sin 2 theta. Then rearranging the formula and when we are able to see that, so we get sin uh, cos 2 theta as a 1. So sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 tau equals to tan 2 theta. So it becomes as tan 2 theta because sin 2 theta divided by cos 2 theta as the tan 2 theta we can write. So that part we are able to see that the sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 times tau equals to tan 2 theta or we can even write it, it like tan 2 theta equals to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 times tau. So any one type we can able to write it. Further it becomes either in this part. So this is the equation number 2. So maximum and minimum principal shear stresses. This indicates that there are two values of 2 theta. So there are two values of 2 theta differing by 180 degree or two values of theta differing by 90 degrees. 
so when it goes to uh, total of two angles it is having 180 degrees differentiation and when it is having one angle 90 degrees of differentiation is there so that times maximum shear stress plane lies at a right angle to each other it is a right angle means it is acting perpendicular to each other now as tan 2 theta is equals to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 theta can be represented as shown in figure so this particular tan 2 theta we can write it in terms of the figure so tan is what it is opposite upon base that is this becomes as the tan 2 theta this particular value is the tan 2 theta 2 theta so sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 times tau so we can write it in terms of this now when with this particular figure if we are going to see so again this is the right angle triangle this is the pythagoras theorem where we can see a b square plus a d square is equals to b d square so in this format if we see so b d will become a square root of sigma x minus sigma y whole square plus 2 square 2 tau whole square it was so 2 square is 4 and tau square under the square root so when we write the equation for sin theta sin theta is opposite upon hypotenuse so we have seen sin 2 theta is equals to opposite upon hypotenuse what we have written here this part as opposite upon hypotenuse and cos 2 theta as the adjacent upon hypotenuse so we can have that particular sin 2 theta is equals to minus or plus of sigma x minus sigma y divided by square root of <coughs> sigma x minus sigma y whole square plus 4 times tau square equals to that is opposite upon hypotenuse similarly we can see the particular part wherein the thing is cos 2 theta is equals to uh, plus or minus of 2 times 2 tau theta divided by square root of sigma x minus sigma y whole square plus tau uh, 4 times tau theta uh, tau square so substituting these equations in the first equation if we go for the particular part so we can easily get the values that are so in this part we can see the maximum and minimum principal stresses this is the graphical representation of equation 2 so in this part we can see the second version that is the graphical representation if the opposite and <coughs> adjacent sides are changed so sin 2 theta is equals to minus or plus of 2 times tau xy divided by the equation as turns to third and cos 2 theta is again sigma x by sigma y and the opposite uh, hypotenuse equation value that is under root of sigma x minus sigma y whole square plus 4 times tau xy square my as fourth equation. So substituting those either the uh, those sine 2 theta sine cos 2 theta values or these two sine 2 theta or cos 2 2 values into equation 1 we get that is tau is equals to half of sigma <coughs> x minus sigma y sine 2 theta plus tau cos 2 theta which is the equation number 1 what we have written. So substituting in this particular values we are able to see that this is the particular uh, equation when we write it so half is sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 so then the value of cos 2 theta and the particular value is sigma x minus sigma y then the square root of sigma x minus sigma y whole square plus 4 times tau square then comes the value of uh, tau xy into bracket plus or minus 2 times tau divided by square root of uh, sigma x minus sigma y plus whole square plus 4 times tau square then simplifying we can see that particular this particular tau goes inside and the particular half uh, comes so sigma x minus sigma y going inside and the particular thing so half is 
सिग्मा एक्स माइनस सिग्मा वाई होल स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय सिग्मा एक्स माइनस सिग्मा वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फोर टाइम्स टाउ स्क्वायर प्लस फोर टाइम्स टाउ स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय दिस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू देन वी आर एबल टू सी इट इज ओनली रेड्यूस टू द हाफ ऑफ सिग्मा एक्स माइनस सिग्मा वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फोर टाइम्स टाउ स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिग्मा एक्स माइनस सिग्मा वाई होल स्क्वायर प्लस फोर टाइम टाउ स्क्वायर then the reduced value of the mix maximum and minimum principal shear stress is in the form of that is tau 1 or 2 uh, that or tau theta 1 or 2 is equals to plus half of into bracket square root of sigma x minus sigma y whole square plus 4 times tau xy square so it is can be written as tau xy which is acting from x or y direction or also it is written as only tau so we can write anything for the particular tau value we can write it as tau xy also we can write it as only uh, tau also so this is the final equation as a fifth equation so this particular equation is the required expression for maximum and minimum shear stress and further to be further it can be seen from the equation the magnitude remains as the same so whether it is plus or minus it can be seen that the magnitude remains as the particular value of the same so where there is no change in the particular part of the values where we can easily substitute and find out the particular thing of value in the equation and this uh, remains the uh, this provides a maximum and minimum values of shear stress both numerically equal in fact the negative or minimum value uh, indicates that it is at a right angles to the positive value and as discussed above and the two are the complementary shear stresses thus magnitude of the maximum or principal shear stress is also known to be value which is the particular uh, principal plane is the maximum shear stress is given as tan 2 uh, theta is equals to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 times tau which we have already seen in the particular above earlier uh, equation that as the values so these are the particular values so in this we can see the maximum principal stress as half of sigma x plus sigma y plus uh, half of square root of sigma x minus sigma y whole square plus 4 times tau square the, whenever the plus values are taken that is the maximum and whenever the minus values are taken that is the minimum value which we can able to find out in the particular equation that we have to remember in this particular uh, section so this values we can easily get through then and thank you see you in the next video